Heads up. I see him. You want to do this later? If Taggart approaches me with witnesses, he makes it easier for Valentine to prove harassment. I still don't get why we came. Oh, I don't want to talk to Max. See if he knows anything more about it. Brenda Stock. You know Jack's going straight to the police. Maybe they're actually doing their job for once and finding out something worthwhile. Yeah, don't bet on it. Here he comes. What I tell you, he's going to prove that harassment case. You have a problem, Taggart? Not unless you make one. Yeah. Mr. Krentos, Mr. Morgan. You mind if I sit down? You already did. Yes, I did. I need to ask you a few questions. About? Heroin. You see, there uh, seems to be a lot around lately, and every time I ask why, your name gets mentioned. If I were you, I'd keep your voice down, Texas. This isn't a park or a lockup. There's a lot of nice people who would tell a judge you're harassing me. Why would they bother? Because you're a sharp dresser at a hospital. They know who you are. So do I. You're a low-life, smack-shooting, drug-dealing thug. You know, if I was to haul your sorry butt out of here, I'd probably get a standing ovation. Right. When I'm good and ready. What's the matter, detective? You're all out of false charges? Think real hard. Maybe you'll find something to uh, bust me for here. Well, I can think of nine or ten. To start, Mr. Morgan's probably carrying an unlicensed weapon, but he's too stupid to realize that's grounds for arrest. What's it like, Sonny, knowing your best friend is a brain damaged kid who's too stupid to spell his own name. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Was I talking well, to you? I'm not hitting you no matter what you say. If you want to arrest me, you find a real reason. Well, it shouldn't be too hard. Well, then do it. Or leave. You bore me. Ooh. Ouch. That really hurt. You giving them lessons, Sonny? You know something? You know, you're not... We all know you're not even supposed to be here. He knows it. I know it. But actually, it's good that you showed up, though, because it saves me the trouble of sending for you. Sending for me? Give you a warning. You can come at me whenever you want, detective. But don't ever, ever use a woman. <laughs> like you use Brenda Jacks? Must be nice having another man's wife bail you out of jail. But then, you two were close ones, right? I mean, you used to live together until some bad boys tried to machine gun her in your shower. Was that before or after the two of you were chased by a gunman through some resort hotel in Puerto Rico? That's, 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 that's all you got? You're coming after me, and all you got is a, is a history of my love life? You're either one lousy cop, or I'm not as bad as I think I am. Maybe both. But like I said before, don't use a woman. Not Brenda Jacks, not anybody else. If you're gonna try something with me, you deal with me, I'll deal with you. But if you use a woman, I'm gonna take you out. You ain't gonna know what happened. That's a threat, my friend. Grounds for arrest. We both agree Jason doesn't count as a witness. So unless you're wearing a wire, which I don't think you are, the way you're ignoring our civil rights, you got nothing on me. Again. So long, detective. for as long as it takes. You're going down, sonny boy. This time, forever. You have a nice evening, gentlemen. Get your beer. This 
guy. I don't know. I don't know. This is... I don't like how much Taggart knows about you. I do. It makes me careless. Every time he gets in my face, he gives away a little more. Sooner or later, he's gonna slip and tell me why he's after me. Then what? I know how to get rid of him. He talked a lot about Brenda? Yeah, I know he did. He hates me enough to use her, but I tell you what, if he does, he's a dead man. Detective Taggart approached you? Ask any one of your waiters. Was he abusive or confrontational? Are you filling out a questionnaire? He was his usual charming self. Do either one of you want to file a complaint? Not yet, but you know something? You you keep him under control or, or get rid of him because he's a bad cop. Taggart may have it in for you, Sonny, but that doesn't make him dirty. He threw Brenda in Sonny's face. Not just her name. He knew stuff about when they were together. He couldn't have known that unless he was digging. No law against research. Yeah, but there is one against stalking, and, and Brenda's being stalked. We all know Taggart's carrying a grudge. How far is he gonna go? Sonny, Taggart may bend the law to put you in prison, but he's not gonna break the law. And he sure as hell isn't going after Brenda. Then who is? You tell me. How many enemies do you have? So far, we've got nothing on a stalker. No prints, no fibers. But I can tell you one thing, it's not Taggart. He wants you in prison, Sonny not running around scared for your old girlfriend. All right, just just do me a favor. Tell me if you find out anything more. Because I know Jax is not going to tell me anything, and, and, and Brenda might not either. What the hell? Technically, it's not an official investigation, so I won't be compromising police procedure. I appreciate it. Of course, if uh, you find a suspect, you'll tell me, right? And not take care of it yourself? Uh, of course. I want this over as much as you do, Sonny. I doubt it, but thanks anyway. There you go. All right. Say hi to my niece. Ready? Detective. Haggard didn't just drop.